Mrs. Cook, I'm messaging you to relay Macon's last message. I expect you've already been informed of the circumstances around his death, but I wanted to add a personal note. While your husband and I didn't always get along, I'm learning more and more every day that he was a capable leader. He didn't brag about the things that he did behind the scenes for the crew. He did it and we've all benefited from it because of his diligence. I just want to know that you should be proud of him. He saved our lives with his act of heroism, but he saved our lives and sanity multiple times through this mission. He will be missed. What follows was his last message to the crew. I wanted to share it with you because he, just, he talks about you and your children. I just want to let you know if you need anybody to talk to during this time, please don't hesitate to message me. God bless. Hello all. Um, if you're if you're watching this, then something must have gone terribly wrong, and I'm presumably out of commission in some way, maybe even dead. So, uh, <laughs> phew, that's a that's a weight off, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right, that's not that funny, I guess, but uh, you know, I figured I ought to record this because uh, there are a few key things that you you ought to know moving forward that uh, I was more or less keeping to myself. If uh, Gaia continues to insist that you turn the boat around, go back home, don't do it. You can't do it. You can't make it. Our repairs have cost us precious hydrogen and uh, we're not going to be able to amass enough fuel to just turn the boat around until we get to the nebula. Once we get there, you can refuel and make it home safely, but you can't just turn around, all right? Don't let them try to tell you otherwise. It's just not going to work. In fact, I'd suggest that you just not listen to anything that any of the military or civilian liaisons at Gaia tell you. The thing's falling apart around them, so they're liable to say anything or do anything at this point just nod and say yes and thank you and please and go on and do what you're going to do now if I'm if I'm out of the picture that means y'all are going to have to decide what you're going to do as far as a commander goes my suggestion to you would be to promote Lieutenant Dickinson he's a good man he's going to lead you right and Besides, he's the only one who knows how to fly this thing, so uh, I think he's a good choice. I hope y'all won't fight about that. It's, it's no longer a civilian versus military thing up here. We're all a family. And I hope you continue to treat each other that way. Now, I know families don't always treat each other right, but do your best, all right? It's important. You're out here for a reason. I gotta say that uh, all, all BS aside, y'all are the, the best, the, the smartest, the bravest crew I've had the, the honor of working with, and I, I'm just I'm just proud to call y'all my friends. So I guess that's about it. Um, I guess uh, if if I am dead, then I'd like to record a little bit here for you to send to my family. Hey, Margie. Hey, Alex. Hey, Sam. My sweet Sam. I uh, I just. Want y'all to know uh, just how much I love you. I love you. I. You are my reason for waking up every single day. And I just want you to know that, that my love for you 
it's just it's gonna go on forever All right good cow